皆さんこんにちはトップシンポジウム Hello,、uh, ladies and gentlemen.、Uh, I am pleased to announce the opening of ECOP Symposium toward creating ECOP Network in UN Decade of Boston Science. Thank you for your,、uh, taking a, your out,、uh, the time out of your busy schedule to join us today. My name is Kotaro Tanaka, a research fellow at Ocean Policy Research Institute of Sasakawa Peace Foundation, and I will serve as moderator、uh, for today. Today's symposium will be simultaneously interpreted from Japanese to English for our overseas audience. Once again, I would like to thank all the participants from Japan and overseas. First of all, Dr. Shigeki Sakamoto, Chairperson of Japan Society of Ocean Policy and Emeritus Professor of Kobe University, who is co sponsoring this symposium.、Uh, Well,、uh, will give us、uh, his、uh, opening remarks, please,、uh, Professor Sakamoto. Thank you for the introduction.、Uh, I am uh, the uh, uh, chairperson uh, of uh, the uh, uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, OPRI and uh, 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 the JSOP and.、Uh, I would like to first of all、uh, say I am、uh, honored to、uh, have this opportunity. Now, uh, the uh, uh, UN uh, uh, the, uh, Decade of Ocean Science started uh, last year, and uh, uh, an informal working group of、uh, ECOP、uh, was formulated, and、uh, Decade Action uh, was uh, recognized as a formal program, and、uh, we are pleased that、uh, we are now、uh, seeing efforts、uh, being made. To establish a network across the globe in order to realize a sustainable development、uh, or a sustainable society, uh, the, uh, uh, we have to work on the research of uh, uh, the marine science、uh, that contributes、uh, to the relaxation of uh, climate uh, change、uh, coming from the、uh, human activities. On the other hand, uh, Professor uh, Furuya uh, is uh, 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 chairing the、uh, Uh, fisheries and、uh, Ocean Science、uh, Research Liaison Committee and uh, uh, the、e、academic circles participating in it、uh, has been working on、uh, the reduction of the number of uh, members, uh, members uh, who are young researchers. Against this backdrop,、uh, following the virtual ECOP day,、uh, the、e uh, people who are working、uh, as researchers and, and、uh, industrialists with uh, uh, a variety of background. Are now trying to establish a network across the、uh, disciplines and uh, promote the um, uh, increased uh, membership. And I think it is very important for us to exchange、uh, views in a frank fashion. From the organizers,、uh, they have asked us uh, to uh, touch upon、uh, what are the necessary factors th uh, so that uh, uh, the young researchers in Japan can participate in these international、uh, efforts. I say, Professor Yamamata, Professor Shira,、uh, Shira uh, uh, Professor Uruya, Professor Michida,、uh, Professor Ishi uh, Ando, Professor Masmoto, Professor uh, Makino uh, have uh, uh, opportunities uh, uh, to uh, uh, in, uh, have uh, interaction with uh, uh, internationally active、uh, professors. I think uh, one uh, shortcut is to listen to、uh, their experiences very actively. I major in international law, which is a social science, and uh, uh, so I cannot really say anything about uh, uh, something that may contribute to people in the、e e、natural science. But since I have been asked, I would like to say the following based on my experience.、Uh, now, the、e uh, differences of uh, uh, culture and、uh, the、e、language barrier is、uh, something that all the young researchers are faced with. So, it is important for us not to look at this as an、uh, obstacle. In order to break it through, we should、uh, actively participate in international symposia. And also, English is a common language internationally, but you have an opportunity to make a presentation. You should accept it actively. And when you make a presentation,、uh, you can use a PowerPoint 
And so if you just write a text, uh, although your pronunciation may not uh, be all that great, but uh, people can understand you if they look at the text. So uh, please uh, feel reassured. Uh, a variety of English is uh, spoken uh, around the world, and don't uh, hesitate to speak your own uh, Japanese-accented uh, uh, English. But uh, you should uh, uh, try to uh, well speak uh, 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 English in a better pronunciation. And uh, uh, so please also be careful about uh, the intonation. You don't have to be fluent. Uh, if you can communicate uh, to your counterpart, that is uh, good enough. But we are researchers. And uh, the contents of what we talk about is most important. Fortunately, the level of uh, uh, marine science here in Japan is high. So the, uh, uh, the standard that you see here uh, in Japan is a global standard. So uh, please feel reassured. Now, personally, from 2008 to 2013, uh, I was a member of the uh, advisory council to the uh, UN uh, Human uh, Rights uh, Council. And uh, uh, I was part of uh, uh, the uh, group that uh, drafted uh, the guideline and also the principles of uh, uh, elimination, eradication of uh, uh, the uh, <coughs> discrimination of uh, the Hansen disease. Uh, I made a 20-minute presentation uh, after uh, preparing uh, drafts, and I answered questions of the other members. Uh, I think it is mystifying that why I was able to uh, do that in English, but uh, uh, that is because I was helped by my fellow uh, committee members. It is important to have a network of your uh, friends, and uh, uh, you are, are going to uh, work together with uh, uh, the researchers from uh, uh, abroad, and uh, you should uh, uh, value the network of uh, uh, researchers from various uh, countries, and uh, I am hopeful that uh, you are engaged, you will be engaged in joint research that contribute uh, to the wor uh, world greatly. With that, I'd like to conclude my remarks. Thank you. Dr. Sakamoto, thank you very much. Now I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Yushi Morioka, Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology or JAMSTEC, uh, for general introduction focusing on the ECOP, today's theme. Dr. Morioka, you have the floor. Thank you very much for your introduction. I'm going to use the slide which I'd like to share now. I hope you see the slides. My name is uh, the, uh, Yushi Morioka uh, from uh, the application lab of Jamstick. I'm on the uh, east coast of the United States. And uh, the, I sincerely welcome uh, Dr. Sakamoto's opening. I strongly relate to his message. And uh, I feel now strongly in the United States that uh, the Japan has the, uh, the uh, Japan, uh, one of the highest levels of uh, the oceanology and the marine related sciences. And uh, not only Japan, but uh, uh, the people of the world should uh, sincere, uh, really communicate and uh, collaborate uh, in order to address uh, the uh, challenging uh, the problems that we in the world uh, face, as uh, Dr. Sakamoto said. And uh, over the last uh, two years, I have been uh, working in the community of uh, the early uh, Korea Ocean Professionals uh, under the United Space Nations auspices together with uh, Mr. Tanaka, today's moderator. And uh, first, uh, of course, uh, the ocean has been playing a major role uh, for uh, us. And Asia's population represents uh, more than half of the uh, globe. And uh, the, also, the, uh, Asia's GDP is about 30% uh, of the world. And our life is uh, largely dependent on uh, marine resources uh, for fisheries, energy, shipping, and uh, tourism. But uh, over the uh, recent years, 
the marine environment surrounding uh, the Asia has been uh, deteriorating uh, due to man-made stress and uh, the natural variations, including typhoons, storm surge, claims, uh, the climate change, warming, and sea level rise, and so on and acidification, oligotrophy, and uh, the hypoxia uh, occurring, uh, changing the uh, marine ecosystems, and uh, loss of diversity, and changing uh, the uh, fisheries products are also reported in many parts of Asia. Not only the marine environment in Asia, but also Europe and other parts of the world have been uh, deteriorating. And that's why UNESCO IOC uh, decided to start the United Nations uh, Decade of uh, the uh, Ocean Science. These are the seven societal uh, outcomes uh, in this uh, decade. First, a clean sea. Uh, second, a healthy and resilient ocean. And a predicted ocean, thirdly. And a, a safe ocean, fourthly. And fifth, a productive ocean and uh, an, an accessible ocean with open and equitable access to data, information, technology, and innovation, and uh, an inspiring and uh, engaging ocean uh, in order to pass on to uh, generations to come uh, the uh, attractiveness and uh, the values of uh, the ocean. So our leading edge uh, scientific and uh, the uh, humanities and uh, the uh, social science uh, the uh, knowledge uh, should be contributed uh, to the next uh, 10 years under this uh, the eight decade program and uh, we have uh, uh, the United Nations uh, the homepage already have been launched which has been in, in, in translated into uh, Japanese as well and uh, if you search uh, the uh, UN Decade uh, of the uh, Ocean Sciences. You can easily access to this page, and then uh, led to uh, various uh, the uh, events and information, and everybody uh, can uh, join as a member through registration. And then, uh, starting last year, the uh, OS the. Uh, uh, JSOP and uh, OPRI uh, the, uh, played a role to start the uh, national committee for this decade. And uh, the Japan's initiatives uh, have uh, been published uh, with uh, English translation as well. So you are strongly invited uh, to visit this web page to see in details and how these activities are practically related to your everyday life and your activities. And now, uh, more on, on today's subject, uh, the ECOP, or Early Career Ocean Professionals Programs. Under the, uh, the UN decade, uh, the e early career professionals uh, with uh, less than uh, 10 years experience uh, are covered. I, my uh, career has been reaching about 10 years, so I'm uh, about to graduate perhaps, but uh, everyone uh, with up to 10 years experience uh, can uh, be covered. And uh, uh, we have uh, the four task teams uh, where ocean professionals uh, have been uh, uh, gathered from across the world to start various activities. First, uh, literacy and uh, education and uh, the guidance, uh, particularly for young people, and uh, diversity and uh, inclusivity uh, across uh, the various uh, the, uh, barriers of gender and uh, the uh, differences, and also ocean glitch, or uh, there are many uh, networks, and uh, this is a network of uh, networks uh, the, uh, across various fields or across uh, the different uh, generational groups. 
So these are the uh, task four task teams. And in addition, there are three regional nodes. Japan is part of uh, Asia. And uh, we have, uh, I'll explain this more. And there are Africa programs. And in North America, Canada leads uh, the uh, that part of the world, activities of that part of the world. And last year, this decade started. And in May last year, uh, there was a survey conducted uh, to see the interests or the uh, attributes of the Asian researchers of about 150 the people. And uh, the uh, uh, male uh, was a little bit uh, the, uh, more than female, and uh, the uh, there are mostly uh, people are oceanologists, but uh, uh, some people were expert on policy and uh, the management and education. And uh, the a year ago, about sixty percent uh, were about were aware of this decade, and uh, seven societal objective outcomes. And uh, the people are more interested in uh, the healthy ocean, predicted ocean, safe ocean, and the predictable ocean. All of these uh, the objectives are also closely related to our life. And uh, also, uh, the uh, people are asked uh, to identify various obstacles and uh, the uh, gaps and uh, quota answer that uh, they are underfunded and also the 24% uh, answer that uh, they don't have uh, the stable employment opportunities, 20% answered they don't have uh, the communities or networks. Uh, so Asian uh, the young uh, researchers uh, uh, in shortage of funding, employment opportunities, and communities and networking. And in June last year, we had a 24-hour program, ECOP Day uh, program uh, for 24 hours, uh, connecting uh, the, the world. Uh, and uh, the Asia it comes uh, the uh, second uh, from the right. So the every four hours, according to the uh, time, uh, change of the time, uh, we uh, move from uh, the Asia to uh, the other parts of the world, covering uh, this, the world over. And then in Asia, we uh, introduced uh, with each other uh, and for example, in India, uh, the uh, ocean experts got together uh, to talk about uh, the various uh, topics, for example, why uh, they, they have decided to work in the ocean field. And in Southeast Asia, there was an, uh, the, a workshop on ocean governance. And in uh, November uh, last year, a uh, Westpac uh, the, a meeting uh, was uh, held. Uh, discussing uh, the uh, uh, what should be uh, done and can be done uh, the, for the research and activities of uh, young uh, the career professionals. And in Japan, uh, we have uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, Japan uh, Society of uh, Ocean Policy and uh, uh, the uh, civil society organizations are invited uh, to talk with uh, the ocean professionals as part of uh, the decade activity and uh, what uh, they expect uh, they with each other from each other were was discussed and uh, the result was reported in the uh, periodical of uh, this uh, society and starting this month uh, this uh, the home page started uh, formally. If you uh, the, uh, search uh, the word ECOP, you can read this. Uh, uh, 113 countries uh, they, uh, join uh, with three regional nodes and four task teams. And uh, the Russian uh, the, uh, researcher Evgenia Konstia uh, Enya is a, a liaison. 
and uh, Asia's uh, the own homepage was also developed, as you can see here. And uh, ECOP Asia's uh, liaison is uh, Rafael Roman, a uh, researcher at uh, the Iwate University, much younger than I am, a, a leading and uh, the, a coordinating or the providing information about uh, the uh, decade-related activities in Asia. I believe that the number of these activities will certainly increase, but uh, you may wonder how uh, people can join themselves in order to have the sense of ownership and the global stakeholder forum uh, is uh, now open uh, where uh, the personal or uh, the various study uh, information uh, can be registered and shared through this website. And uh, on the right, you see almost every month uh, you can have, uh, you can receive the information through this newsletter. You can subscribe to this newsletter here. So if you're interest, interested, that, uh, you are uh, welcome, most welcome uh, to join. And what is the international global activity? In fact, tomorrow, starting 9 p.m. tomorrow, ECOP workshop starts at the UNESCO headquarters. And uh, this is an online program, and uh, you can register and watch at the ECOP uh, the homepage. Uh, you can be informed more of uh, global activities, not only uh, what's going on in Asia. Now, uh, in Japan, academic uh, organizations have been mostly uh, focused uh, on these activities. It was rather a close study a momentum, but we'd like to spread that um, beyond the framework of academic societies so that, that uh, everyone can join and exchange views more actively uh, so that, that uh, what uh, the uh, early career professional can do and should do and what uh, can be done to support and promote them. So this has been the uh, general purpose and objective of today's program. The ECOP uh, is uh, the a 10 year program for early career professionals, but in addition to a seven out, uh, societal objectives, uh, the, we uh, work uh, to build network and uh, information for information sharing and uh, spread the uh, knowledge and experience to next generations. And uh, there you are invited to register and uh, your activities are uh, the can be and should be shared more widely in Japan and abroad. This has been my presentation, and uh, I now invite uh, Mr. Rafael Roman for a brief remark. Thank you, uh, Dr. Morioka. Uh, I would like to continue to have your cooperation. Thank you. Um, Mr. Rafael Roman, who has been working as a contact person for ECOP Asia since this year, has also joined us today, uh, as uh, was touched upon by uh, Dr. Morioka. So I'd like to uh, ask him to introduce himself. Rafael, please go ahead. Thank you. Do you hear me? Yes, we do. Thank you. Morioka-san, thank you. Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, nice to meet you. I am uh, a coordinator for the Asia region for uh, the ECOP program, uh, ECOP Asia. Uh, from uh, the uh, 15th of December, I have been uh, ECOP uh, coordinator. But uh, prior to that, for two and a half years, I, in Iwate Prefecture, I was a researcher. Right now, I live in Canada, in uh, Vancouver, to be exact. The UN Ocean Decade, uh, well, uh, the e if you are interested in the uh, ECOP network for that, uh, please uh, uh, 
uh, will uh, contact me uh, via email. Please take a look at the PowerPoint. If you have any question, please uh, uh, contact me. You can uh, either use uh, English or Japanese. I'm very happy uh, to have this op opportunity. And also, uh, we please check uh, our website, as uh, was uh, touched upon uh, by uh, Dr. Morioka. We have a variety of events uh, held in Asia. Sorry, uh, we only have an English version of the website. But lastly, Global Stakeholder Forum. Uh, is something I would like you to join, Global Stakeholder uh, Forum. Please take a look at the link uh, here. Uh, this uh, uh, forum is a platform and the uh, ECOP Symposium is, I believe, a very important event you uh, have a great opportunity to connect with other ECOPs across Japan and enjoy this symposium. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Rafael, thank you very much indeed. I appreciate that, uh, your uh, ongoing uh, uh, contribution uh, and uh, working with us. Now we'd like to move on to the uh, keynote speech by uh, Mr. Takeshi Kawano, Executive Director, Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology, or JAMSTEC. Uh, Dr. Kawano has been the Executive uh, Director of uh, JAMSTEC starting April uh, 2021. Uh, Dr. Kawano perhaps uh, is uh, the, uh, sharing with us uh, suggestions uh, for young generations uh, researchers. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you can see the slides. Yes. Thank you very much for your kind introduction. My name is Kawano of Jamstek. I took the position of executive director for research and development on the 1st of April Last year, I'm going to focus on JAMSTEC's activities, particularly uh, the uh, support for uh, young early career professionals and the outreach activities. I hope uh, the, uh, I satisfy the objective of today's uh, the, uh, meeting. JAMSTEC was established on the 1st of October 1971 as uh, a uh, uh, special uh, the legal person uh, organization under the Science and Technology Agency, and presently we are a national research and development organization under the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology and Culture. So we mark uh, this uh, the fiscal year, marks the 50th year. There are about uh, 900 uh, staff members uh, consisting of 338 uh, researchers and associate researchers, uh, 50 and 119 uh, technicians, uh, including uh, the crew members and 360 administrative staff members. Uh, there are uh, six R and D uh, institutes and uh, uh, seven administrative uh, divisions, and. Uh, uh, we produce, uh, they publish 570 uh, the papers in international uh, journals, or the, a less than uh, a little less than two uh, per researcher, which is a good number in comparison of uh, European and American, Chinese and Korean, uh, the oceanology research institutions, and our regular annual budget is 32 billion yen, and we have uh, the, these uh, the fleet and uh, the Hakuho Maru and the Shinsei Maru uh, for academic research, and uh, Mirai, uh, the general purpose, uh, the observation ship with uh, the uh, ice breaking, uh, the uh, or uh, the 
uh, ice resistance function and the CQ uh, for uh, the uh, deep uh, uh, earth uh, the uh, observation uh, the with the drilling of the, the uh, sea bottom uh, the function and the Kaime and the Kairei for sea bottom uh, exploration and the Shinkai and the manned uh, the uh, uh, the uh, submer uh, submers submersible, and uh, we have uh, several ROVs and uh, AUVs. And uh, our headquarters is uh, Yokosuka, uh, the, where we have uh, a, uh, 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 a, a, a port uh, where the ships uh, they can uh, dock. And uh, we, Yokohama uh, Research Institute is about uh, 30 uh, minutes uh, by car with uh, the uh, Earth uh, the simulator. Uh, this uh, is uh, a fourth generation uh, simulator. Uh, this uh, multi architecture supercomputer uh, combining a vector engine and the GPU based on CPU. And uh, the uh, Dr. Shikuro Murabe, last year's Nobel uh, Physics uh, the, uh, Laureate, uh, they had an office here, and we have the Mutsu Research Institute, uh, and Dr. Manabe had an office here, and we have the Mutsu Institute in Aomori, and, uh, which is uh, the mother port of uh, the Emirai. We have uh, the Kochi Institute of Core Samples uh, run together with uh, Kochi University, and this is, has a huge uh, uh, storage facility uh, of core samples uh, taken by Chikyu. We have uh, the uh, Godek data center in Nago in Okinawa, and we have of, uh, an office in Tokyo. And now our institutes for R&D. Uh, first, uh, the uh, research institutes, uh, uh, research institute for global uh, change, uh, focusing uh, on observation and the simulation. Uh, for climate change. And uh, the next uh, research institute for marine resources and utilization uh, for the understanding of material circulation and origin of marine resources to ensure sustainable use. And uh, next, uh, the research institute for marine uh, geodynamics. Uh, researching uh, the uh, trench type uh, earthquakes and the tsunami and the volcanic activities. And the fourth uh, research institute for value added information uh, generation, uh, the uh, focusing on how uh, the uh, information uh, from uh, the uh, various uh, the, uh, other institutes can be analyzed uh, for uh, added uh, value uh, to be brought back to society. And next uh, is uh, the uh, Institute for Extra Cutting Edge Science and Technology Avant-Garde uh, Research. Uh, the, this is uh, the uh, basic research institute for the uh, origin of life, uh, prokaryotes, and the deep sea uh, ecosystem. And uh, also uh, the Institute for Marine Earth Exploration and uh, Engineering, uh, operation of vessels and development of ROVs and uh, other development of other technologies. The, uh, uh, all of these uh, the institutes contribute to the Union Decade on uh, Ocean Science. And uh, this is the Japan's uh, initiatives. Uh, for the decade, they are published uh, by uh, the AJSOP and uh, uh, the A, uh, uh, OPRI. And uh, uh, we have some, uh, these are experts, uh, these are the uh, jumpsticks, uh, the research. Uh, our goal is, uh, has been recognized as uh, the uh, decade uh, action, and uh, the uh, marine environment uh, variation uh, research is uh, uh, contributing to the project uh, for decades actions, uh, deep sea observation, and uh, they contribute also to the marine uh, the ecosystems uh, program. And uh, the part of the information uh, sharing from GODEC has been recognized as a decade activity. And the next is, is uh, activities uh, in the first call. Uh, the, we uh, join the EFREMELS, uh, the One Ocean Network for Deep Observation. And uh, near a submarine uh, uh, 
uh, uh, ocean uh, the, uh, mount uh, near New Caledonia, uh, we are planning uh, the uh, monitoring of the uh, uh, biodiversity of the deep marine environment and the environmental changes there. We attach uh, the environmental DNA measuring uh, systems and the hydro hydrofoam uh, to the mooring system in order to measure chronologically uh, ecosystem data. And uh, Edoko, uh, the a uh, small uh, the a logger uh, could be also attached. And the Edoko is developed was developed by Jumpstick, and the Jumpsticks uh, young researchers have been joining. Uh, the, and working in this program. And we are proposing uh, the, a second call as well. And uh, this is uh, the observation research of Kuroshio and uh, the adjacent uh, the marine areas together with the Westpac uh, members of uh, UNESCO ROI. Uh, Kuroshio is uh, important uh, affecting uh, the uh, regional climate and the weather and uh, the marine uh, resources. Uh, this is a very important uh, research subject for uh, the countries uh, in this area. And in, in the area where many countries uh, the uh, border uh, uh, with each other, distribution of data is important. And, and uh, some of the staff members of Jumpstick uh, is uh, the Jumpsticks and the member is uh, a co-chair of uh, the Westpac and he is leading the uh, effort to integrate uh, the proposals from uh, uh, Westpac uh, members uh, to apply for uh, the UN program. And in addition, uh, there are uh, many uh, Jumpstick uh, the research and development activities and outreach uh, programs uh, which are uh, uh, meet the spirit of the UN decade. Uh, we also have programs within uh, Jamstec, uh, the to uh, promote, uh, the, uh, to raise awareness of uh, the uh, activities of uh, the various uh, the, uh, uh, field institutes and uh, the members and uh, amongst the researchers and the non-researchers, uh, Dr. Makino of the University uh, of Tokyo and uh, Professor Wakita of Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology uh, spoke, and uh, Dr. Sakaguchi, uh, OPRI uh, director, also uh, they talked about uh, what he expects of Jamstec, and I believe that uh, these activities will raise the momentum uh, to uh, uh, join decades and uh, the, uh, apply uh, for decade actions. And now, uh, subject matter, our support to uh, young early career researchers and outreach to uh, young people. Uh, now, uh, there are several categories uh, of uh, JAMSTEC researchers. And uh, as of January this year, uh, we have in total 347 uh, researchers of various categories. And 25% uh, of them, or 87, uh, uh, 39 years old or younger, or the, a little bit different from the definition of the early uh, career uh, professionals of ECOP, uh, but uh, 70, a little over 70 percent of them are on uh, the fixed term employment. And the postdoctoral researchers and uh, the Jamstec uh, Young Research Fellow, which I talk about uh, later on, uh, for the fixed uh, the positions. So it's only natural that, that a, a, uh, fixed, uh, most of the fixed term positions are, are occupied by young people. And uh, in principle, uh, researchers are employed by Jamstec uh, for uh, fixed term positions, and uh, after within the five years uh, after exam or the, uh, if they pass uh, the certain review, uh, they can move on to the uh, position uh, where they can continue to work until uh, the mandatory retirement age. Uh, so that category. Uh, see uh, the many uh, people uh, over 40 uh, 
years old. And this is a Jamstek Young Research Fellow Program uh, the, uh, to uh, support and uh, they attract uh, young talent. And uh, we receive application uh, globally and uh, the, uh, um, uh, they, uh, the term is uh, the three years. In the first year, uh, one million yen, and the second year, uh, half a million yen is uh, provided for their activities. And uh, they are mentored uh, by the staff members of Jamstek. Uh, they are not taught, but uh, they are supported uh, by uh, Jamstek, uh, the uh, mentors, so that they can be freely uh, 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 conduct their activities within Jamstack, and all application and uh, selection processes are conducted in, in English. And uh, we use an online system for the uh, acceptance of application and uh, web interviews. And uh, we have uh, quite a large number of applications, and uh, more than 70% of the applications are from outside of Japan. And annually, we employ four to six people for this uh, Young Research Fellow Program. And starting uh, uh, 2014, we have so far uh, 42 uh, Young Research uh, Fellows. We have International Day within JAMSTEC, so that the non-Japanese researchers' uh, activities uh, are introduced. So we can uh, exchange with each other beyond uh, the fields and the nationalities. And also, when uh, they apply, uh, the uh, different uh, staff members of uh, the different uh, the fields uh, join for their selection process and for their presentations. And uh, when it started in 2014, it was called the International Postdoctoral System in order to have uh, the uh, postdoctoral researchers from around the world. Uh, but uh, this has been upgraded uh, in order to support uh, early career professionals. And so this has been a reform as a res result of the reform. And uh, as I said, uh, I became this uh, the, uh, direct executive director's position on the 1st of ep April. Uh, last year, and uh, uh, my predecessor was uh, the, uh, Dr. Sakaguchi, OPRI's uh, the director. Uh, so uh, today's uh, the, uh, program is the result of the reform uh, led by uh, Dr. Sakaguchi, and uh, the, such uh, programs uh, will uh, be mentioned later. Uh, now, oh, we also have other uh, human resources development uh, initiatives, and this APEX uh, is an um, international, uh, uh, well, the interdisciplinary organization that develops uh, the uh, uh, next generation researchers who are interested in the Arctic uh, and uh, Antarctic areas, sponsored by the uh, IASC. Uh, centering around the countries uh, uh, surrounding the Arctic, in many um, countries in the uh, North Hemisphere, a uh, national for focal point has been established, but not so here in Japan. So uh, JCAR, Japan Consortium for Arctic uh, Research, uh, is studying to be a, a focal point. So we partner with them at uh, JAMSTEC to be a hub for the Asia Pacific, specifically uh, we would like to establish a sec secretariat. Uh, taking advantage of such opportunities as international conferences, we would like to organize uh, workshops by young people and uh, uh, plan uh, to uh, conduct uh, uh, in Mirai uh, the observation based upon the uh, proposals made by uh, young researchers. Through these activities, uh, when the uh, uh, Arctic uh, research vessel uh, is uh, completed, then uh, uh, well, that will be an inter international platform, and we'd like to develop uh, uh, people who uh, can play central roles uh, in the vessel. At Jamstech, we are also engaged in uh, education of uh, university students and graduate students. Uh, we have uh, 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 170 people who are uh, also teaching at universities. And so one of two uh, researchers are contributing to uh, the education of uh, university students and graduate students. And there are universities who have a partnership with us. And uh, the, uh, in this case, uh, uh, Jamstep people um, teach uh, well students uh, uh, as uh, university 
a faculty member. And uh, uh, some of these stu students obtain uh, 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 a degree through this. And uh, we also receive uh, students for researchers and uh, give them technical guidance uh, for observation and analysis. We have uh, accepted, received about 60 students as of the end of September 2021. I would like to introduce to you some uh, technical guidance that we give. In the ocean, we have a calcium carbonate uh, that is uh, excessively uh, dissolved. And uh, the organisms in the ocean use the excessively dissolved uh, uh, calcium carbonate and uh, form skeleton and crust. And uh, if uh, there is a, a, the oxidation of the ocean, the saturation of the calcium carbonate uh, decreases, uh, making it uh, difficult for organisms to form skeleton and crust. And we have uh, developed a technology to if accurately uh, measure the density of crust of uh, microorganisms. The, in the Arctic Ocean, where the saturation of calcium carbonate is less than one, uh, the density of crust uh, is uh, lower uh, than uh, the uh, sound organisms. And so for uh, research of uh, acidification of the ocean using this technology, uh, we have uh, received some students from abroad and also from Japan. And that has led to the acquisition of uh, degrees. And also we are carrying out an internship. The, uh, we have participated in the consortium to promote the academic research regarding uh, ocean AI by the Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology. And we have been receiving graduate students as interns. Uh, in the period of a month, we get them to uh, experience the research themes uh, using AI and uh, Earth Simulator. And uh, some of the students who experienced the internship have been employed as a provisional uh, research assistant. And some of them are working in research projects at JAMSTEC. We would like more students to uh, come to the marine fields, science fields. And so uh, we uh, have also a human resource development proje project aimed at mainly students who have yet to decide uh, their specialty field. And uh, well, uh, we actually uh, get uh, some of these uh, stu uh, students to be uh, research teams of JAMSTEC, and they uh, ride uh, the submarine uh, Shinkai 6500 uh, for a submarine research voyage. Uh, seven to eight uh, are accepted per uh, time, and uh, since uh, they are uh, participating in research, the screening is very strict of the uh, participating students. About three of our students have an opportunity to uh, do submarine activities using Shinkai 6500. The uh, participating students uh, will be uh, responsible for analysis and data analysis and uh, specimen collection uh, before and after the voyage. And uh, also they uh, try to make uh, presentations in academic uh, uh, meetings and uh, writing thesis as uh, joint researchers. We have done this uh, in uh, August 2019 and March 2021. In March 21, we uh, tried to collect f uh, the finance uh, uh, through crowdfunding, uh, and uh, we got a lot of assistance. And uh, we are uh, going to have another uh, voyage in March 2022. The, uh, application has already been closed. We are now screening the participants. Next, I would like to introduce to you activities for the ECOPS. JAMSTEX have a research institute in Mutsu City, Aomori Prefecture. So we carry out a project along with the, um, the technical high school of the uh, area at the Mutsu Institute for the local uh, fishermen, mainly. Uh, we uh, communicate uh, real time the surface water flow rate observed through HF radar. In order to uh, make uh, uh, such uh, information uh, dispatch more sophisticated, we need uh, uh, data about uh, offshore wind. However, right now we don't have much uh, data as such for observation. So, as part of the uh, classes in Mutsu uh, Technical High School, we asked the students uh, to uh, uh, design and uh, uh, 
produce a wind vane and anemometer. And the uh, uh, wind vane and anemometer uh, designed and uh, produced by students are to be uh, is, uh, installed in the uh, fishing vessels locally to collect uh, uh, data uh, offline, uh, online. And uh, we are still at the uh, stage of uh, prototype, but in the process of designing and production, uh, we also conducted a performance test using the e institute's facilities. And also, uh, uh, there was a, a symp joint symposium held uh, in the e, uh, re region, and uh, students also participate in the community e FM radio to introduce their uh, research and development activities. Uh, well, uh, this one is also a, uh, an event promoted by uh, the uh, Dr. Sakaguchi, a former executive director of Jamstech. In 2019, there was a uh, friendship and goodwill road, uh, yacht race to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the diplomatic relations of, between Japan and Palau. Uh, on this occasion, uh, along with the uh, students and children of Palau, we uh, carried out uh, uh, marine ocean uh, plastic research. And uh, uh, the, uh, we uh, attached uh, in, uh, in automatic uh, uh, plastic uh, collection equipment in the yacht. And uh, uh, also uh, Jamstech uh, people, the UN people, and uh, uh, the people from uh, par uh, partner organizations uh, uh, rode the uh, vessel and uh, uh, collected the ocean plastic and uh, uh, conducted a lecture regarding the ocean uh, pollution. And the report was also published. It was very popular. The participants said they would like to continue to uh, do uh, research on plastic, and also the uh, local students uh, and also president of uh, Palau uh, gave us a, a word of thanks. Uh, not just a jumpstick, but a Yamaha, uh, Mitsuo SK lines, uh, UNEP people, and also Global Human Resources Development Promotion Organization, and uh, Japan uh, Palau Yacht Race uh, Executive Committee and uh, many other people made this uh, project possible. And uh, with the uh, uh, yacht people, uh, we are still uh, discussing whether uh, it would be possible to expand uh, the uh, scope of the uh, plastic uh, collection through the uh, racing vessel. Now, I would like to introduce to you another example of uh, outreach examples for uh, children and students. Now, uh, the environment is changing dramatically in the Arctic area, and to, uh, for people to understand this situation, uh, we developed a board game along with uh, Nihon Mirai, uh, Kagak Miraikan, which is a national museum of, of emerging science and innovation. Uh, this is a part of the e Arctic research project called ARCS of the e Ministry of Education in, of Japan. This is a, a kind of a role-playing game. The player uh, has to uh, answer uh, whether to uh, go ahead and do development or research uh, as uh, a scientist, a fisherman, or developer. And depending on how the, answer, uh, the question is answered, you may have less funds, uh, you may see uh, environment uh, destroyed or recovered. So and uh, resources are limited. All the players need to uh, understand each other's uh, position to uh, come to a goal. I am poor at this game. I've never reached a goal. It appears that uh, I tend to concentrate on my role and I become self-righteous. That may be a problem. Other than that, uh, we have developed uh, uh, contents for a VR image uh, that allows you to experience uh, deep sea. Uh, we also uh, will show this in the National Museum of Science and Technology. This can be used through the uh, internet uh, still today. There's a uh, Godak uh, in Nago City, Okinawa Prefecture, and they do outreach, the experiential type of outreach for children and students. Uh, there is a Okinawa Kids Doctor Development Project. This is a combination of a uh, classroom uh, uh, teaching and uh, uh, hands-on experience to uh, nurture children who are interested in uh, ocean plastic issues. We are supported by Nippon Foundation. We are cooperating with a variety of local organizations for implementation of this. Uh, the uh, participants can uh, operate the ROV and uh, make uh, gliders 
and uh, uh, we also uh, uh, contribute to the development of uh, um, uh, the e, e cops uh, uh, through these activities. And also, we have been conducting activities for children and students who tend to stay long hours at home because of the pandemic. Uh, for example, we have uh, developed a content that uh, explain the ocean uh, and earth science in an easy to uh, understand fashion. We also, have been airing web, the e, uh, QA session for children, and uh, uh, researchers themselves talk about their uh, books. Uh, these are some of the contents that maybe cont contribute to their homeworking. And uh, uh, we have a pen that gets you to want to do homework. And when this pen is attached to your pencil, uh, you can uh, well enjoy a, a game uh, uh, as you clear the stages, uh, preset stages. And also, uh, we have uh, uh, produced a poster about uh, uh, the ocean. Uh, uh, for the uh, uh, Science Week. And also we have uh, developed uh, uh, the wallpaper for online meetings and uh, uh, the e e logo for social distancing. And uh, there's going to be a, a, a for Giga School, a Giga School special session by the next Ministry of Education. Uh, and uh, now on the first floor of uh, the building I'm in, mean, uh, we have lots of children and staff people for this project. Other than that, uh, irrespective of whether you are a, uh, a researcher or non-researcher or of your age, we want people to be in more interested in the ocean. Uh, we believe it is important to increase the number of uh, ocean enthusiasts. Uh, I think uh, this is uh, in line with the uh, philosophy of a decade of ocean science to get uh, more people to be uh, participating in this. For example, a real-time report of the uh, uh, research of the uh, Nishinoshima uh, that erupted a few uh, months ago, and also uh, uh, the broadcast of uh, the uh, uh, videos of uh, Arctic uh, voyage, and also uh, researchers uh, uh, explain the uh, new kind of a sardine discovered by Jamstek. And also, uh, differently, uh, the uh, property of uh, sand, uh, slipperiness of property collected from different uh, parts of Japan uh, 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 are now researched. And uh, this was also pop uh, possible, uh, popular. Uh, last slide, uh, Jamstek uh, yeah, is engaged in the uh, uh, display at the museum's uh, re uh, outreach through sports, the uh, uh, films and uh, uh, the development of uh, uh, teaching materials. We have been uh, making efforts to increase uh, the marine enthusiasts. Thank you for your listening. Uh, Dr. Kawano, thank you very much indeed for introducing to us the wide ranging uh, activities of Jamstek and the support programs to uh, young uh, researchers for next generations and contributions to the knowledge and enthusiasm for next amongst the uh, next generations. Now, uh, the panel discussion focused on the expectations and the challenges uh, in building uh, networks uh, for ECOP with uh, the five uh, experts uh, for deeper discussions. Uh, the panelists are expected to share with us uh, the 10 minute uh, presentation and then we have a general discussions amongst all of us. And after the speeches by panelists, uh, if you have comments or uh, questions, please uh, uh, send uh, them to us using the YouTube text. Uh, and uh, we have a, uh, uh, the, a URL for accepting your questions and comments uh, in YouTube's text. Uh, the, because of the time limitations, we may not be able to uh, take up all your questions or the comments, but we'd like to uh, they take them up as much as possible. And uh, Hide Sakaguchi, Dr. Hide Sakaguchi, director of uh, the OPRI of Sasaka Peace Institute, moderates the panel discussion. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Sakaguchi, director of uh, the Ocean uh, the e Policy Research Institute of Sasakawa, Research, uh, Sasakawa Peace Foundation. Uh, 
uh, Dr. Morioka of Chamstek from the United States and also uh, Rafael Roman and also uh, the, uh, Dr. Uh, Takeshi Kawano, uh, the, uh, also of Chamstek. Uh, I really appreciate uh, the, their general information and the comments and the keynote address. Thank you very much. Dr. Kawano uh, covered uh, the uh, Jamstek's introduction, uh, their programs, and the important messages to young researchers and uh, also uh, younger people. We are very pleased to have this uh, panel discussion session with uh, experts. And uh, uh, let me introduce uh, to you our panelists. Five panelists here. First, uh, the Dr. Aoi Sugimoto, Japan Fisheries Research and Education Agency. Uh, Dr. Ryota Wada, the University of Tokyo. Uh, the Mr. Kodai Taguchi, the University of Tokyo. Uh, Mr. Yota Takakura, uh, Inoka Inc. And uh, Dr. Yoshiko Kondo. University, Nagasaki University, uh, such a uh, brilliant array of uh, the uh, panelists. So first, uh, as was uh, touched upon by uh, Mr. Takana, uh, Tanaka, I would like to give uh, each person uh, uh, 10 minutes. Uh, please uh, stick to this uh, uh, time allocation, just 10 minutes. Otherwise, we can't have discussion later on. So I'd like to ask them to uh, give us uh, their self-introduction and also some remarks about the uh, topic. And uh, uh, after that, we'd like to have a heated panel discussion. So uh, without further ado, uh, I will, uh, the first presenter is Dr. Uh, uh, Aoi Sugimoto from the Fisheries Resources Institute of Fisheries Research and Education Agency. And she speak from the span standpoint of her involvement in marine social science. Dr. Sugimoto, please. Thank you for the introduction. My name is Sugimoto, uh, Aoi Sugimoto. Uh, with the Fisheries Research and Education Agency. I would like to share my screen with you. I hope you see my screen. Uh, yes, we do, uh, we see that. So uh, I would like to speak within 10 minutes. I will do my uh, very best. Uh, I thought this was a, a soft event for citizens. And uh, I am not, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, well, maybe my presentation material was not uh, uh, right uh, for the audience. But anyway, uh, first, uh, I would like to introduce myself. I dare to do my self-introduction only from the information available on the internet. Not that uh, I was uh, uh, lousy, but uh, uh, well, a screenshot is uh, what you see. So who's uh, Aoi Sugimoto? If you ask Siri on the smartphone, then uh, she's a researcher of uh, a fisheries research and education agency. Uh, the e She's uh, doing a research uh, and uh, from uh, nature to people, the society, uh, how that's impacted, and also uh, human and society, how that impacts the uh, environment, nature, uh, the inter uh, uh, activity between them. Uh, that's her life work. Uh, that's uh, uh, a great uh, self introduction that you see. Of course, uh, uh, it's my own writing, but the, this is displayed uh, by the technology, which is, I think, wonderful. Now, uh, for your information, uh, the Future Community Lab uh, in Hida City, Gifu Prefecture, and also uh, the Iraq Ten uh, IT company and Tokyo University, and um, uh, the uh, my agency. Uh, it's a uh, uh, a project of uh, 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 the cooperation between industry, government, academia. Uh, 
If you ask the same question to Siri in English, then, uh, well, uh, Dr. Aoi is a research scientist at uh, an organization called the Center for Marine Socioecology in Australia. So that's what you see. Now, I often refer to myself as a, a marine social scientist, which is what I write on uh, Twitter. And as you see here, and uh, uh, other than that, uh, uh, I also write, I work in transdisciplinary science, design, art, activism, entrepreneurship for transformation. In other words, I work uh, with uh, various academic disciplines, uh, both within and outside of the social sciences, uh, as well as uh, uh, with other sectors such as, uh, well, designers, artists, and private companies, NGOs, NPOs, and of course, uh, local, central, and international government organizations, uh, not to mention local communities such as uh, fishing villages and uh, remote islands. Uh, so by doing this, uh, I strive for social transformation. That's uh, uh, my self-understanding. Uh, well, uh, I may be doing uh, too, uh, too many things, and uh, that's what you may fear about me. But uh, uh, that is why I always uh, am careful to leave behind results one by one as a researcher. So when it comes to results as a researcher, as you can uh, see research map, which is made available on the net. Uh, if you do a uh, image search using my name, then uh, you see, uh, well, academic uh, awards that I have received. So if you're interested in my research, please take a look. Uh, today, rather than my own research, I would like to briefly introduce uh, the ECOP uh, uh, Science Commun uh, Communication uh, Committee activities uh, that I am participating in at the North Pacific Marine Science Organization called PISES. Uh, PISES is not really an acronym of a North Pacific Marine Science Organization. Anyway, I joined the PISES in 2018 and became a member of the Human Dimension Committee, which is the only humanities and social sciences committee within Pisces. And from about 2020, in response to the uh, ocean decade trend, uh, the organization of uh, ECOPS began, and at the same time, efforts to revitalize science communication began. I am involved in both uh, ECOP and uh, science communication. and. Uh, I am uh, the chair of uh, Science Communication Committee, and I would like to focus on this uh, today. As you can see from the picture, uh, the E2 on the right-hand side, as you can see, uh, the uh, Science uh, uh, Communication Committee group is uh, uh, mainly young, and there are also many women, as you can see. And this group is currently planning to revitalize communication in order to deliver the academic results accumulated at PISIS to citizens around the world in a broad and easy to understand manner, including revamping the website uh, for citizens, conducting communication training workshop, and uh, strengthening social networking. Now, uh, we just uh, heard uh, uh, great uh, uh, communication activities for outreach at Jumpstack. From Jumpstack, I hope uh, uh, they will participate uh, in the uh, uh, Science Communicating Committee of uh, Pisces. Now, uh, I understand that the reason why I'm chair of the Pisces uh, Science Communication Committee is probably because I have been making a lot of noise about communication, communication, communication over the last few years. In, well, uh, with the cooperation of designers and artists, I have been creating videos and uh, infographics and developing communication with the aim of uh, communicating to the right people 
and uh, uh, learning uh, to uh, necessary, leading to necessary social change so that uh, uh, research does not stop at the research. I have been doing this in Okinawa since my graduate school days. Uh, I, so uh, that's what I have been doing. Again, uh, I'd like you to take a look at this as well, uh, as you can easily find it by uh, searching for my name or Mother Ocean. Now, with respect to UN Ocean Decade, uh, and also ECOP, uh, which is positioned as an important element of uh, UN uh, Ocean Decade, and science communication, I think all have the same underlying thought and logic, which is that our society is unsustainable without a uh, 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 transformative change. So this uh, transformative change is defined as a drastic restructuring of uh, all aspects of technology, economy, and society, including paradigms and value systems. The power of ECOPS and science communication is essential to make this happen. With this in mind, when I think about the theme of uh, today's symposium, I think the most important thing I want to say is this uh, on the last slide. After all, sustainability requires a radical restructuring of all aspects of society, including paradigms and value systems. IPBES report and many others talk about a need for paradigm shift from left, the, the words that you see on the left, to the right. Uh, the paradigm shift uh, uh, of the value systems. Uh, that's what uh, many reports talk about. Uh, and uh, it seems to me that uh, uh, Ocean Decade represents a movement uh, for the entire community of ocean science to promote shift from the left to the right, or perhaps uh, the integration of the two. If this is the case, I believe that the essence of ECOP uh, Network is not the uh, age or years of ex experience, but the mentality of uh, uh, flexibly renew existing hierarchies and conventions. I, well, the so we should uh, flexibly renew uh, the uh, uh, conventional uh, thinking. So I hope to be able to exchange information and discuss in such a, a direction today with you all. Thank you. Dr. Sugimoto, thank you very much. The last slide was, uh, well, uh, the, all the, uh, the items on the left-hand side was applied to me. We, uh, I was born in the second uh, late uh, of the Showa area. Uh, so that was uh, not very easy for me. But uh, now I'd like to invite uh, Mr. Ryota Wada uh, the, from uh, the University of Tokyo, but from uh, the marine industry's point of view, uh, the resources and uh, the industries, uh, as well as commercialization. So that is uh, the, the generate and promote the uh, industry uh, from uh, the uh, ocean, which is called the last frontier in the 21st century. So that is uh, what uh, is expected now. And uh, how such an uh, area could attract uh, the young, uh, the talented people uh, is uh, really uh, decisive uh, for uh, the, uh, the future. Thank you. I thank you very much for your introduction. Yes, I think that uh, you said uh, what that, uh, I meant to say, uh, everything, but uh, I'd like to uh, give some more additional information. My name is uh, Ryota Wada, uh, of, uh, the Associate Director of Department of Ocean Technology Policy and Environment of the University of uh, Tokyo's Graduate School. I do not uh, represent uh, the all. I do not represent uh, the collective knowledge of uh, the, this uh, area, but I hope that uh, my perspective uh, would help uh, the, uh, the promote our uh, discussions. But uh, 
I didn't mean to become a researcher, but after the graduating from university, I joined the Japanese company and uh, the, the importance of uh, the uh, marine environment and the resources attracted me and uh, I, I came back to the uh, went back to the university uh, for uh, the masters and uh, the uh, doctor uh, uh, Kawano uh, he was uh, the very strict uh, in the interview and but uh, the, I'm lucky that uh, I'm now a uh, associate director after obtaining a doctoral degree. And uh, of course, the uh, social implementation or application of uh, the, uh, the ocean or the ocean resources is important. Yeah, but uh, the innovation and uh, how to integrate uh, the various uh, uh, the factor technologies are uh, also the key. And uh, the society is changing very fast. So what uh, uh, we need to identify what uh, is really uh, demanded or required of, uh, for society. And we also need the interaction of various fields. And uh, of course, uh, the use of the ocean. Well, the, we have typhoon and also the various uh, the uncertain uh, the phenomena. So. We need to. Uh, I have been uh, working to uh, for the description, uh, uh, probabilistically, uh, of uh, the irregular phenomena such as waves and winds, and also for societal uh, the contribution. Uh, we also need to promote and realize uh, ocean. Uh, uh, introduction in, uh, industry, and uh, we need a co-creation of ocean economy. Uh, this is not uh, the, uh, the, my research field, but it's rather a lifelong theme for me. I focus on the right-hand side of uh, this, uh, this slide today. Now, the ocean, of course, uh, the, uh, the uh, methane hydrate or the uh, uh, the submarine resources and the hydrothermal event, as well as uh, the wind farm, uh, these uh, may come up to you immediately. And in oceanography, Japan is one of the leading nations in the world, which is very heartening. But at the same time, when it comes to ocean economy, Japan is yet to be more developed. And uh, the oil and gas industry, of course, the fields, uh, don't occur near Japan. That might be one reason, but we need to create the uh, ocean-related industry more. Uh, so uh, for society, uh, what we, should we do? A uh, huge amount of money, people, and the time is uh, necessary for any projects, meaning that we need to involve many stakeholders and uh, uh, complex technologies are involved. And uh, there is uncertainty uh, because of the climate and the weather and the oceanography. And uh, the, we are uncertain about the amount of uh, the resources that uh, may occur. So uh, anyway, that's because, uh, because of that, uh, technological innovation is necessary. And we need the flexibility, which uh, can withstand uh, the uh, uncertainty uh, of, of decadal uncertainty. So we have a cross-disciplinary uh, technology as well as uh, the technologies uh, which is uh, the, uh, useful in a very narrow specific field. Uh, the, we used to have uh, the one strong leader uh, in such projects, but uh, and not anymore. We need to have uh, a open innovation and a co-creation system where uh, people of different uh, the, uh, expertise can come and work together and collaborate. And uh, various experts could come for a workshop and uh, to facilitate uh, their discussions. Uh, we could develop models, and uh, this, that is one of uh, my research area. Now, today's uh, subject, uh, how to develop human resources, young human resources for uh, marine industry. So 
we need a system where the people can come from the many different fields. We used to focus on only certain fields called marine technology. Uh, but uh, all uh, possible approaches in a comprehensive manner uh, could be utilized. And uh, the, uh, we need to uh, introduce uh, the openly uh, various uh, the technology and techniques uh, from uh, the uh, unconventional, unusual areas. So we need uh, to attract uh, the uh, people, human uh, talents from uh, the uh, all uh, different fields. Uh, the ocean science can attract people, uh, but uh, the uh, ocean has not been recognized as uh, an area uh, where uh, the uh, industry uh, can create it. So we need a flagship uh, project to attract talents. And uh, we also need uh, a uh, uh, leaders, the people with the doctoral degrees and high level of expertise. So that is uh, the a high top level uh, researchers uh, uh, who is, uh, they can be competitive in the global uh, market. And also we need to explore new uh, the fields not bound by conventional uh, knowledge. Uh, in the University of Tokyo, we have uh, the Ikashiwa uh, Ocean uh, Forum, where the institute in, uh, researchers of the research institutions and the industry and the governments can join freely for uh, networking. And based on my own experience, well, I'm not, I haven't been. Uh, 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 being fully aware of uh, ECO, but uh, 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 taking this opportunity, I have these expectations and uh, challenges. And uh, we expect that, that uh, we can develop a network which can produce uh, the diversity of uh, expertise, uh, providing diverse disciplines and perspectives. And uh, the different fields uh, can be uh, brought together and the fuse in order to uh, create a new uh, potential uh, for new uh, research. But the fusion or bringing things together is a means. But the, uh, what matters is objectives. Uh, if objectives can be shared, uh, then the chance can create uh, the, uh, uh, some uh, good opportunities. And uh, the uh, young researchers need time to hone their skills and expertise before uh, developing uh, the uh, network. So we need a balance between these two. So the, uh, their time is limited. So we need to have a creative, uh, the attractive opportunity uh, for young people to uh, share their time. Of course, uh, young people can come together and uh, drink together and talk. But uh, the perhaps uh, the other way of uh, the uh, networking uh, is possible. Uh, in addition to online meetings, uh, some other means uh, could be utilized. But this is a summary uh, from uh, the uh, ocean industry's perspective. I talked uh, ocean industry is important uh, for Japan and for the world. And uh, for social values, we need to have uh, open innovation. Open innovation come together uh, from uh, the talents uh, from uh, different fields and uh, the high level of talents with the doctoral uh, degrees. And uh, we hope that we can uh, produce a kind of model or uh, a network where the objectives are shared amongst participants. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Wada, thank you very much. I think different words have been uh, uh, used somewhat, but I think uh, there are a lot of commonalities. Uh, we just heard uh, two, uh, well, uh, discussants' uh, uh, speeches, uh, we see, uh, well, a uh, beautiful arch, uh, not uh, heated, uh, well, uh, conflicts of in, uh, well, uh, views. But anyway, uh, next, uh, uh, the prince of the uh, marine education, uh, someone uh, who is uh, with uh, uh, the uh, 
uh, University of Tokyo's Graduate School of Education Center for Ocean Literacy Education, Mr. Taguchi. Uh, Mr. Taguchi uh, uh, was also a speaker at uh, last week's uh, Ocean Expo seminar. And uh, so uh, he has a very a close uh, connection uh, with us. And uh, if you just uh, will uh, search uh, YouTube uh, uh, in the YouTube for Mr. Taguchi's activities, you can easily see it. Now, uh, I would like to hear from him about uh, his main area of expertise, marine education. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, do you see my slide? So let me uh, make my presentation. My name is uh, Koda Taguchi. Uh, I'm uh, a um, uh, the, with the University of Tokyo Graduate School of Education Center for uh, Ocean Literacy Education. And also I am a uh, uh, well, uh, CEO of uh, Minato Lab. So my specialty is uh, uh, education. What is uh, education? That is uh, the uh, pedagogical anthropology. And when it comes to my research theme, it's a bit broad. So uh, my, what I research is uh, interdisciplinary research regarding the uh, relationship between humans and uh, education. What are humans? From a very perspective, I look at uh, the humanities and, and so on. and. Uh, so uh, what is the significance of uh, uh, education for humans? And uh, what would be an idea of education? What should be the modality of education? That's what I'm uh, thinking about. And also after 2018, I have been trying to establish uh, a basic uh, uh, well, uh, a theory of uh, uh, marine education. So today I would like to focus on this uh, second topic, the um, uh, marine education. So marine education, as it says, it's about uh, the uh, ocean, but uh, it's not uh, uh, teaching the education. Uh, it's uh, education to realize the coexistence of the ocean and the humans. So that is uh, uh, what uh, I believe uh, for uh, that we need to do. And so uh, that's why we need to uh, study uh, the way to do education, uh, practice, and establish. So uh, what is the state where we have uh, coexistence of the ocean and humans? On this point, uh, privately, I am very interested in uh, well, the following. After the Great East Japan earthquake, I think uh, marine education has been valued. And also, uh, as we look at the climate change, uh, the uh, ocean environment is changing. How should we see the ocean? And uh, how should uh, uh, education be involved in it? I think that these are very important aspects of marine education. So not only should you think about this, you have to practice. And uh, also, theoretically, uh, you have to also work on it, particularly in Hirono uh, town in uh, what the uh, prefecture, and also Kesenuma city in uh, Miyagi Prefecture. I'm from the Tohoku region in Japan. As we move ahead with uh, marine education, in the uh, areas affected uh, by the uh, tsunami, we have to think about uh, marine education more. In 2013, uh, the, so uh, I started collaborating with these two communities as I think uh, have been researching the marine education. So. Uh, so as a community, uh, how should they move ahead with the uh, marine education? Establishment of a curriculum, well, uh, supporting the uh, classes, and also uh, we, uh, I have been also uh, teaching the uh, teachers and also uh, exchange information about uh, the classes and also establishment of uh, networks of uh, students. So it's uh, about uh, uh, the structurization or systematization of marine education. And also I'm involved in construction of the mechanisms uh, for promotion. This is something that should be uh, done by the central government, but uh, that's not being done. And uh, it is necessary, however. So that's what I'm thinking about. From 2016, I uh, have established uh, a Minato Lab. Broadly, uh, education and practice as I do it, uh, a variety of things, uh, going to school and uh, do uh, classes, that's been quite uh, attractive to me. But uh, this shouldn't be just uh, uh, research at the universities. This should be uh, made open to the uh, rest of the society. 
That's why I established this uh, uh, organization. If you are in a university, there's only so much that you can do. You can't do things uh, freely in terms of finance, in terms of time. And so I want to do uh, things uh, free, uh, freely, and I thought uh, this kind of organization would be necessary. The design of classes, uh, the organization and uh, implementation workshops, and also events uh, in collaboration with the media, and also the marine education. It's uh, well, uh, natural uh, scientists, uh, maybe uh, a lot of them who are involved, but uh, the uh, designers, uh, creatives, uh, the video people who may not be related with uh, marine uh, uh, science. Uh, uh, should also be involved in this. And also in this fiscal year, I said Ochi Ocean's X uh, with uh, uh, Nippon uh, Foundation, uh, we started uh, uh, ocean uh, garbage. And so what uh, can education do for this? Uh, that has to be considered. And also we started uh, marine education, uh, the design education project. So we should uh, spread uh, the uh, learning from the ocean as a culture and uh, so that it can uh, take root as a culture. And uh, so the possibility of uh, ECOP and uh, challenges. Now, uh, well, I heard about ECOP for the first time, so I have been studying this, uh, I have been researching this. Uh, and uh, what are the things that we need to uh, think? Uh, the, of course, uh, since we're talking about young people, there's an issue of career careers. Uh, but uh, the natural science and the humanities, I think uh, career development and also the evaluation within the academic world are completely different between the two. So I don't, uh, the career issues is one and the same. We have to look at the details uh, as we think about this issue. Particularly in natural science, uh, the uh, it's very difficult to do things outside of your own uh, specialty field. If you do it, uh, you may not be evaluated, but uh, not so in humanities, perhaps. So academic research and no academic uh, research, uh, I think uh, the barrier is coming down between the two. So we should uh, achieve both. And uh, beyond that, uh, uh, there may be a new modality of uh, uh, career. and. Uh, People in my generation uh, should uh, show uh, uh, lots of possibilities about careers. And the second point is, what is network for? What uh, should we establish a network for? This is what I've been thinking about. ECOPS. Uh, the, uh, we need to have uh, objectives and uh, meaning uh, for ECOPS to participate in it. Uh, otherwise, uh, it wouldn't be uh, very meaningful. Uh, people tend to look at it negatively if it's just time consuming. So we have to clarify objectives. And also, uh, my own field of expertise, uh, the uh, UN uh, uh, Ocean Decade and also ECOPS and also marine education, the uh, humanities are not involved, perhaps. Of course, uh, in the uh, humanities, uh, uh, there's a, a lack of uh, understanding of the importance of uh, the ocean. And also in the oceanography, uh, the importance of humanities is not so well understood. Or uh, I would further say uh, the, uh, uh, the importance of education is uh, made light of. Education is important, but uh, you tend to take it for granted. So. For a uh, better, uh, well, a combination of network and uh, uh, marine science, I think uh, uh, you should look at the humanities. So what uh, uh, am I expecting from ECOP, uh, from uh, marine education? Uh, we would like to uh, well, develop a, a basic understanding about the system of uh, school education. Well. Uh, the system of uh, school education, uh, the uh, basics have to be understood. Otherwise, uh, uh, there might be a gap between them. Uh, the uh, schools uh, want uh, specialists, uh, experts, to talk about their field of expert, uh, but uh, the experts don't think so. So uh, there should be a basic understanding uh, between them. And specifically, 
what are the challenges for networking of uh, ECOPS? For specific uh, cooperation, maybe projects uh, should be established. I think this would be uh, pleasing to me. Uh, the marine literacy is going to be increasingly important, so uh, we shouldn't just introduce uh, what's created by UNESCO here in Japan, but uh, what should be the uh, marine literacy uh, be in, here in Japan? I think this should be studied further. And also, uh, we have to establish mechanisms to support ECOPS. Uh, of course, this may have been already considered, but uh, the uh, integrate uh, a variety of uh, projects that uh, ECOPS can participate, and also matching. So these are the points I wanted to cover in my presentation very briefly. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Taguchi. As Dr. Wada said, networks so without objectives are irrelevant. And that's what uh, Dr. Taguchi said, I believe. So the question is what uh, can be done and should be done after we successfully build a network in this ECOP effort. Thank you very much. Now, next speaker is Mr. Yota Takakura, uh, CEO of uh, Inoka Inc. Mr. Takakura, too, last year talked about the coral and IT at uh, the, uh, one of our programs. Uh, last year, these two are rather unusual for us uh, to appear under the in the same uh, the uh, the talk. Rather difficult for us to link these two, but uh, I think instead of one, but uh, one hundred arrows uh, have been uh, the. Uh, uh, the uh, launched uh, uh, by uh, Mr. Takakura. At, uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Takakura of uh, Inoka Inc. Thank you very much for your introduction. Uh, I don't. I'm not certain whether I'm appropriate to be part of this program today. I have this uh, company focusing on the ocean. I'm not a researcher like other panelists. Day after day, I'm running and I'm working hard uh, for corals. So I focus today on what we are going at Inoka. I represent uh, Inoka Inc. In April 2019, the company was established. Uh, we are approaching third uh, birthday. We are still a very young totaling company. These are the uh, uh, people on board, uh, mostly um, uh, only with the exception of uh, the Rise Fuji, uh, Fujise, who was uh, the, uh, the researcher at Sydney Institute of Technology. Uh, none of them uh, are ocean researchers. I focused on AI, uh, IoT at the university, and another person, Takeuchi, I think uh, loves uh, the business than sleep. And, uh, uh, and perhaps uh, this person, uh, 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 Masuda, uh, the, who is uh, the uh, position, uh, uh, the name of the position is uh, the, described as this question mark, but I'm talking about him later. Now, uh, about our company, our focus is to reproduce uh, artificially a certain uh, ecosystem, that is uh, the e development and the commercialization of technology to reproduce uh, the e, uh, coral 
in, uh, ecosystem in the urban environment. And uh, the chief aqua aquarium uh, the officer is uh, one of uh, the uh, positions we have. And uh, he, this person used to have this uh, the technology uh, using uh, the, uh, the, uh, the water tank. This is the backyard that uh, he has uh, kept uh, the coral at home. Uh, despite uh, the opposition from fa family members. So this technology was born out of his uh, the, uh, the free time uh, the, uh, activities. So uh, do you know the uh, simultaneous equation? Well, what's that? That's the uh, level of uh, the, uh, perhaps uh, his uh, academic performance, but that uh, he is a real expert on corals. Uh, he has the know-how. He's uh, almost a kind of a craftsman. He can, this person can recognize the faces and facial expressions of corals. And then uh, enter me. And uh, the other day, uh, and, uh, I used to develop uh, the AI and uh, the IoT and uh, the research on this. Uh, so. I develop uh, the parameters uh, um, and the control parameters through mechanically uh, for the water tank that uh, that person developed, Masuda developed. So I think uh, this is rather a kind of uh, the, a, uh, the a teaching uh, to the priest. But uh, uh, we uh, depend on the ocean, but uh, we can create uh, the industry out of the ocean, and the uh, fun or the uh, value of ocean uh, can be and should be uh, passed on to generations. And uh, uh, we, uh, and human resources and technology, uh, these are the uh, main uh, the themes for us. And for human resources, we have uh, the educational programs, and uh, not simply speaking, uh, that we can show uh, real. Uh, the corals, and uh, we go out to uh, shopping malls or the various facilities uh, to show, re to bring uh, real corals for people to see, to initiate, uh, to bring people uh, to the higher level of awareness about uh, the uh, ocean. And not only universities, but also at other opportunities, uh, we can create opportunity for people to see and touch and feel the corals. And uh, we also do edutainment. We uh, use this card game uh, for children to have fun and can learn. And uh, also, uh, children can be linked to adults. And uh, this is a proposal uh, sent by uh, the third grade uh, the elementary school students sent to uh, Uniqlo. So uh, we bring this uh, the proposal to Uniqlo together. And perhaps uh, in the, uh, the coming March, this idea will be materialized and uh, this workshop uh, could be uh, organized. And our strength is to, to be able to uh, conduct uh, the, a very a fine uh, the, a level uh, experiments uh, for comparisons. And uh, our clients include the various corporations. And uh, we have the high level of uh, reproducibility for the first time in Japan. Uh, we have the uh, controlled, uh, the, uh, we reproduced uh, the uh, control. Uh, uh, we succeeded in uh, making the corals hatch eggs uh, under control environment. So byproducts usually thrown away have been uh, used uh, to, uh, uh, to help create uh, the uh, environment for corals. And so uh, we are the venture business in Tokyo, and we attract uh, the uh, high level of attention. I, and so uh, the many people and the company said that, that uh, they are not related to the ocean. But these days, uh, the, even the such uh, com co corporations who shared such comments, uh, they uh, pay attention to us, and uh, they are ready to work with us. 
and about the expectations or the challenges for us. Uh, let me share them, even though they are not written on the slide. As to expectations, as a venture business like us, Uh, our contacts are quite limited, even though we have sometimes uh, the, have the opportunity to talk of researchers. So I value this opportunity today, uh, contacting uh, the early career professionals. So we are kind of uh, outliers, so to speak, but uh, uh, while paying respect to the, uh, uh, the people working in the conventional field, I'd like to uh, extend my contacts through events like these. Uh, I know that we, you are busy, uh, everyone is busy, so the question is how to develop a, a network or platform where people can stay in touch while working uh, busily. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Takagura. Now, uh, Sugimoto san. Uh, is from uh, uh, social sciences. Uh, Mr. Taguchi is about uh, uh, marine education, and Mr. Inoka is about the marine industry. There is no marine e researcher, uh, well, as designed. Uh, uh, we shouldn't just uh, talk, well, the uh, ocean scientists uh, only uh, should talk about uh, the uh, uh, ocean uh, science. So. Uh, I was quite, uh, very excited to hear what uh, Takakura-san said. Not just uh, should we uh, establish a network, uh, we should go beyond networking. So I hope uh, many companies uh, use Mr. Takakura's company. Before moving on to Dr. Kondo, we have uh, just a few questions received. So uh, well, I uh, am going to well answer all those questions. So. Please uh, don't miss this opportunity. Uh, please uh, submit your questions. So lastly, uh, we have with us uh, Dr. Yoshiko Kondo of the uh, Nagasaki University Graduate School of Fisheries and Environmental Sciences, who is uh, marine science, to give us a presentation from her perspective. Dr. Kondo, please. Thank you for the introduction. Do you hear me? Yes, we do, very clearly. So let me make... Uh, uh, move on to my presentation. Uh, do you see my presentation material? Yes, we do. Thank you. Then let me begin. Uh, my web camera, uh, well, uh, my PC is not functioning well. So uh, I hope uh, this will go well. Now, once again, I would like to thank you for your introduction. My name is Kondo with uh, uh, Nagasaki University. I'm not uh, really young. I think I'm uh, uh, mid-career, but uh, uh, I was invited as a researcher. And uh, as a, a researcher, as I look back on my experience when I was young, and uh, I would like to talk about expectations and challenges toward creating ECOP e network. I would like to talk about it from my own perspective. So uh, these are the points I would like to cover, the outline of my presentation, self-introduction, and what I research just a little bit. And then the importance of uh, a researcher's network and uh, uh, the expectations and challenges uh, for uh, uh, toward creating ECOPS network. So who, uh, who am I? Uh, what uh, kind of a person am I? I'm from Tokyo. Uh, and in, from uh, March 2015, I have been uh, teaching at, at Nagasaki University. My uh, field of research is uh, chemical oceanography. Based on uh, chemistry, I uh, study uh, the uh, oceans, specifically uh, iron in the ocean, the uh, dynamics of uh, uh, the uh, trace uh, metal elements. These are some of the pictures that were taken uh, as I doing, was doing research. Uh, the activities on the vessel, uh, the chemical analysis. So through field work, we do sampling and uh, conduct uh, research. That's uh, the basics of my research. My background, when I was a, a university student, I was uh, with the Tokyo University of uh, Fisheries. Right now, uh, it's uh, uh, 
the uh, Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology. I graduated from Faculty of Fisheries. So, uh, but uh, I have been uh, interested in the uh, uh, environment of uh, marine. So, as I uh, did the uh, uh, MS uh, Masters, I changed course and I moved on to the um, uh, Tokyo University's Graduate School of Agriculture and Life Science. I graduated, uh, I acquired a master's degree and a PhD, and these are uh, the uh, people who uh, gave me uh, strict guidance, and thanks to them, I uh, acquired a degree. And uh, so uh, I had to do a lot of physical work uh, because I had to do a lot of uh, field work. So. I actually uh, moved from one place to another uh, from uh, 2007 to 2015 for about uh, a little less than eight years. I uh, uh, was uh, with a variety of uh, research labs as a, a researcher. Uh, at that time, I thought I was uh, having a lot of difficulties, but uh, those experiences are quite useful now. One, I Fortunately, uh, the overseas uh, uh, postdoctoral fellow was what I was. For a few years, uh, I was at the uh, University of Southern California in Los Angeles. And I uh, was able to establish a network with uh, overseas researchers there. And after coming back to Japan, I was with the National Institute of Polar Research. Uh, I was uh, located physically at the Atmosphere and Ocean Research Institute and the Green Project. Uh, the, I was engaged in research of the Arctic Ocean. The, I was given opportunities to uh, do research in the Arctic, uh, which was a very great uh, experience for me. And uh, what I do research, well, uh, I will be brief explaining this. As I said before, uh, I uh, study trace uh, metal elements, uh, the circulation in the ocean, and also uh, how it's connected with uh, the uh, growth of the phytoplankton. Uh, I don't think uh, you're familiar with this, but uh, uh, iron and other uh, raise, uh, trace uh, metal elements, the Actually, uh, although the amount is small, but uh, it's very important uh, for the phytoplankton. But in the ocean, the density is low, and the circulation mechanism for compared with uh, the um, uh, phosphorus and uh, nitrogen, it wasn't well known. And so I uh, studied the uh, distribution, and uh, I decided to, to do research in this. However, uh, I was uh, more uh, in the, uh, the niche. Rather than looking at iron, I wanted to look more in detail. For example, uh, uh, the, uh, this is the distribution of uh, um, the uh, uh, well dissolved iron from the Indian Ocean to Antarctic Ocean. Why what did we see, do we see such a distribution? And also, uh, what are the factors that control iron behavior in the ocean? So I was uh, uh, doing uh, research more in depth. So here, I was studying uh, trace metal elements. So I was uh, uh, focusing on the uh, vast ocean. What you see is uh, from the graduate school days to now, uh, these are uh, the oceans uh, that I visited. Uh, you see how I moved. I participated in a lot of uh, uh, research voyages. Some of them are successful, others are, are failures. How often? Very often. Uh, from the graduate school days, uh, Jamstek's uh, Haksomar, I was uh, on it uh, for more than 10 times. And uh, I'm in uh, Nagasaki University. Uh, 
and uh, we, we have uh, uh, well training vessel, and also I was on uh, Hokkaido University's training vessel, and also uh, I uh, was uh, on a, a vessel of uh, the uh, Japan Fisheries Research and Education Agency, and also uh, CNOR and Atlantis. As I was doing research, uh, during voyage, you do your own research very hard. But as I look back on it, in these uh, research voyages, other, uh, there are other researchers as well on uh, the vessel. And uh, these voyages are quite a good opportunity to interact with the other scientists and also uh, to uh, well, uh, collaborate, showcase your research. I think uh, this, uh, right now, I think uh, I look at this as a great opportunity. And also, uh, strengthening of a network among the projects is very important for particularly young researchers. Over, well, I was in the United States for a few years as a overseas uh, postdoctoral fellow. And uh, Ge GeoTraces is a project uh, participated in by uh, people with, uh, from uh, 35 countries in the world. And I was on a vessel. Uh, and uh, I was the only Japanese uh, researcher uh, on the voyage. Among the researchers, the, uh, we're using the same uh, sample. Uh, different uh, research uh, method was uh, compared, intercalibration research. This was a bit stressful. But through this activity, uh, I saw, uh, well, I met with uh, a lot of uh, uh, people for the uh, first time. I think this is uh, great networking. And uh, this GeoTraces project, uh, I am a member of the committee for uh, this uh, project. So uh, this was hard at that time, but uh, now I am very gratified. So these are the points uh, I really felt as uh, a young researcher. As a, a researcher, what is important is a steady effort. Uh, not aiming at, uh, well, uh, bullseye. And uh, I, when I went to the United States, I was poor at uh, uh, English uh, proficiency. I still am struggling. But anyway, uh, English communication capability is very important. Not only English, but uh, communication capability is very important, particularly if you're on a, a voyage. Plus, uh, I said I was a poor uh, English speaker, but still, uh, you, when you have uh, uh, overseas uh, postdoctoral research, uh, you should uh, accept it. Uh, we should go for it. You should have uh, courage uh, to, to take on the challenge. And at the outset, uh, uh, Dr. Sakamoto said at this symposium, uh, you, well, you, your poor English is fine. You should uh, have an enthusiasm to uh, communicate. And also, people from abroad, uh, I think they tend to have this tendency. They try to do uh, hit the balancing time with your family and also enjoying leisure time. I think uh, uh, they focus on balancing. And so you should have fun as you do research. Uh, I'm now, uh, as a mid-career person, not just in Japan, but uh, the ocean oceanography is supported by uh, people with uh, uh, ECOPS. I think uh, uh, that's what I feel keenly. Uh, it's been a, a bit lengthy, sorry. Uh, now, the, about expectations and challenges toward creating ECOP network, uh, from the perspective of someone working at the university, uh, the, uh, I think uh, strengthening uh, programs to support entry into doctoral programs is very important. Uh, as you move for uh, uh, higher education, if you, there are lots of people who uh, can't do so because of lack of funds. And as you work on uh, marine research, what are the job prospects after graduation? So job opportunities uh, is one big question. Uh, who uh, students ask me. So uh, the, uh, I think, uh, well, there should be more and more enterprises who appear this. And uh, uh, 
there should be a creation of an environment where a cutting-edge research equipment can be used at res each research institute, regardless of application. I'm away from Tokyo, and startup funds uh, are not available. So as you do uh, uh, research, uh, you struggle for funds. And uh, from the perspective of someone who studied abroad, the, uh, I hope uh, to see increased opportunities for graduate students and postgraduates to conduct research overseas. I think uh, that would uh, make a difference in terms of uh, originality for you. And uh, so increasing opportunities for interaction with overseas researchers through international conference presentation and overseas training. And uh, also we should create an environment in which uh, young researchers who have gained research experience uh, overseas can easily return to Japan. If they stay abroad, then as is often said, uh, that represents an outflow of uh, brain. So those people who go abroad uh, should be able to come to Japan uh, so that uh, we can do better in Japan. Uh, sorry, uh, I have gone overboard with respect to my time location. Now, the current uh, Earth, globe, uh, the uh, global environment is at stake. So the development of marine science is uh, vital, essential. And so the uh, spread of uh, ocean literacy across generations is, is, is essential. And uh, the second point is what I've said before, uh, the uh, development of marine science is supported by young people. And third, uh, the, we now saw the beginning of a decade of marine science. It's being focused. And so uh, we have a high expectation on this uh, uh, UN decade for marine science. And uh, uh, well, I hope uh, there's going to be an establishment of a network centered on young uh, people that should lead to the breakthroughs in the field of the future. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kondo. <laughs> I think uh, uh, Dr. Kondo mentioned uh, the issues that are quite common amongst uh, uh, many ocean researchers uh, who are perhaps uh, the, and, uh, on the board today. Your voice is not coming. Dr. Kondo, do you hear us? I'm hearing you. I can hear you. Thank you. I think uh, the Dr. Kondo covered uh, almost all questions that uh, I plan to ask to the panelists. But uh, I also invite uh, Dr. Morioka. Uh, are you still awake uh, in the United States? And also Mr. Tanaka, the, uh, the MC, and also uh, Dr. Michida, who is going to deliver to us uh, the, the closing remark. Uh, the, these uh, uh, Dr. Morioka, Dr. Michida, and uh, Mr. Tanaka are all in, also invited uh, to join us in these general discussions. But first and foremost, uh, Dr. Kondo, can you hear us? Perhaps not. In fact, uh, the, we have uh, the, some questions addressed to Dr. Kondo, but uh, I'd like to cover them later. So and now, uh, Dr. Michida, uh, my first question to you, because uh, this is not uh, the related to the duty or responsibility of uh, the early career researchers. Uh, anonymous, uh, the, a person asked this question. I appreciate uh, all the valuable researches uh, uh, by all of you, but there are 10 million uh, the people in Japan uh, working in any way, in some way, to uh, the sea in the harbors and the fishing ports and uh, other related uh, areas. How do you think you can communicate and uh, get, a, get your message across to these people? Well, I think that I, I think
think I can really understand uh, this uh, the question. The, even though researchers uh, they are working hard uh, to get their messages out, when I talk with uh, the uh, people working on the field, I sometimes feel that, that uh, my message, our message, haven't reached them. But uh, anyway, uh, our as researchers, we need to continue our efforts. But anyway, collaboration, uh, the workshops and the other opportunities should continue for collab collaborative opportunities. And for general public, well, of course, uh, it's some. it can be cumbersome, uh, but uh, the writing uh, as many books as possible, addressing general public. So that's all that I can say. But perhaps uh, the uh, Dr. Sakaguchi, what is your question? Well, I didn't expect that, that as a moderator, I am asked a question. But uh, first and f first, of course, the researchers uh, conduct a research for the sake of research. That's only natural, but it's their job. But in addition, it's often said, so it's rather sound mundane, but uh, people working on the front line or on the field, I think uh, the, we should also have their, uh, uh, their line of sight. Uh, the Dr. Professor Washida, uh, who was uh, the former prof uh, the president of the University of uh, Tokyo, said this. That is, uh, when he talked with uh, uh, the people uh, in Fukushima who was affected by the great uh, the East Hanshin earthquake, and uh, what uh, do you expect of researchers, he asked. And uh, the, uh, the most uh, the, uh, the people said that uh, they wished uh, that the researchers uh, would share uh, their concerns and uh, the they expect the researchers to communicate in a language that is understandable uh, to the general public. I acknowledge that the researchers are busy uh, with uh, writing papers, but in addition, uh, the, but the research is uh, the, a, ultimately to solve problems. So we need to, to have and understand the perspective of the, uh, the, uh, the member of the general public and the young people especially can absorb things so much and uh, they are um, flexible. So they should uh, understand and communicate with general public while their mind is flexible and uh, they are still open. Uh, uh, Dr. Sugimoto, I see your hand. Uh, I'm sorry I'm, uh, if uh, I'm allowed to cut in now. I talked about science or communication uh, when I was given a floor, so I wish I would like to uh, add uh, some comments here. And uh, it's related to my own uh, uh, areas of research and the Pisces, well, stakeholders and a member of the, I know many researchers, including me myself, who wish to communicate with the general public and who want to get our messages across. And I think gradually we see uh, mechanisms uh, generated in order to do that. But if when we are about to do that, Uh, sometimes uh, the, uh, we don't have uh, the uh, practical means to do that because uh, the, we are bound by so many rules or the uh, uh, conventional procedures. And uh, even though uh, some say that's important to communicate with people, we don't have funds. Perhaps uh, the, if we are to create a video, well, uh, we have only uh, half a million yen, but that half a million yen would do nothing uh, to 
create an effective video to, for communication sort of campaigns. So that's the one example of a gap between what uh, should be done and can be done and uh, what uh, uh, that what's uh, practically possible so it's really uh, the very practical pragmatic issue that cannot be overcome only by the effort of uh, uh, young uh, researchers uh, even though we are discussing under the uh, the key word of ECOP here, I think that it, researchers and the people from different uh, age groups and different generations uh, should uh, work together and in order to overcome uh, difficulties that we face. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's very important. Well, Dr. Michida is nodding on the screen. I really want to nod as well. The issue it cannot be solved by young people alone, uh, that, but it shouldn't be left to the older people as, uh, either. So when it comes to power and absorption, uh, the young people are better. Uh, biologically, we have to live with that reality, but uh, the mid-career uh, people and veterans uh, who have a good understanding and with money uh, should be involved to get the issue solved. Uh, so there should be a combination of people to uh, tackle this issue. I think uh, this is a very important point. Thank you. Now, Dr. Kondo, uh, I understand that uh, she's now connected. So I would like to ask uh, Dr. Kondo a question. Uh, this is also a question to uh, Mr. Morioka. Uh, anonymous question. Uh, well, uh, Dr. Uh, Morioka and uh, uh, Dr. Kondo, uh, going abroad and international study, uh, are there many such uh, researches? Uh, well, uh, particularly Dr. Kondo. Uh, Dr. Morioka, you can answer this. Uh, being a postdoc uh, uh, fellow is very uh, hard abroad. How uh, have you decided to go abroad when you are young? Dr. Kondo, please. Uh, uh, and after that, Dr. Morioka. Okay. So do you hear me now? Yes, uh, we do. So let me answer that question. But my personal experience, I wonder if that uh, I uh, will talk for the other people as well. But in my age, as I mentioned uh, in my presentation, international uh, conferences, well, with my data, I bring them and uh, I made a presentation uh, using a well, uh, posters. Uh, my English was very poor, but uh, when I did it, someone contacted me. And after that, I actually uh, often visited this person after that. So uh, presentation in an international conference is very important. And if you are called, uh, then I thought, uh, well, I should visit. Uh, I should... Uh, well, accept this challenge. Uh, well, of course, uh, uh, being a, a postdoctoral fellow abroad may seem uh, difficult, but uh, it's not so. If you go abroad, well, uh, there are other young researchers who are struggling just like you and working very hard. By seeing that, I think uh, you feel uh, empathy. So uh, studying abroad in that respect was very good for me in that respect. I wonder if I have answered that question. Thank you. Dr. Morioka, what about you? I'm at uh, Princeton University in the United States. Uh, well, there's no Japanese person who's, resp who's uh, researching the e marine science across the United States. Uh, postdoctoral fellow in Washington and the research institutes. Uh, yes, there are a few, but uh, again, compared with uh, uh, some time ago, uh, we have less people uh, in this field. At uh, Princeton University, we have uh, uh, well a Japanese person who's researching meteorology. I had a chance to talk with him. Uh, if you will solicit the people, there's no. Uh, people applying from Japan. That's a big problem. 
uh, we see lo we have lots of Indians and Chinese, but uh, not uh, so from Japan, uh, very few. And I want to know why. And well, as uh, Dr. Kondo said, uh, the how stable your career would be after obtaining PhD. Uh, also, can you uh, go uh, go back to Japan after? Well, uh, acquiring PhD, uh, these may be some concerns, and uh, how not only should we send uh, Japanese researchers, but uh, we should uh, receive them back uh, to Japan so that uh, we can really exploit what they have studied uh, abroad. Thank you. So uh, I don't think uh, they these two people exhausted the answers, but uh, uh, the. These are uh, the people who experienced this issue uh, just now or just a, a, a while ago. So uh, I think we can learn a lot from them. Now, the next question. I think uh, this is us to all the panelists. Amongst uh, the uh, young researchers and uh, uh, students, uh, how many of them have the experience of uh, the playing on the beach? And uh, are there any school programs uh, for students or the uh, home, uh, the uh, house or, uh, for uh, children to play or experience uh, the sea and the ocean or the such experience at home? Dr. Sugimoto, yes, uh, I was raised, uh, born and raised in uh, Minato Ward in Tokyo. So while I was, when I was very young, uh, I didn't uh, have the opportunity to have to play on the beach, and uh, I don't like uh, school outings because I don't like uh, the, uh, behaving in a group. And I started scuba diving when I was a college student, and that's uh, the. Uh, was beginning for me to experience more the ocean. And perhaps uh, because of the lack of uh, experience with the sea when I was very young, I think uh, my experience uh, with the sea uh, deepened very strongly. And I was uh, born in Osaka and uh, I moved uh, uh, to various places because of my uh, parents' other uh, jobs, but uh, I didn't have the opportunity to have, uh, to have contacts with uh, the uh, uh, ocean until I enter the university. Uh, Dr. Taguchi, well, uh, I was uh, born on the coastal area, so I played on the beach when I was very young, but uh, after I joined the uh, junior high school, and then I didn't go to beach and in the college, and uh, the uh, Great East uh, Japan uh, the earthquake but was the start for me to have uh, the significant contact with uh, the sea. Well, uh, I didn't play on the beach, uh, Mr. Takakura, yes, but uh, my parents and the relatives uh, brought me to coral uh, reefs when I was a child, but uh, the sea was uh, something scary, and I prefer uh, to swim in a swimming pool. But uh, I have I uh, had uh, the I kept uh, the uh, fish and aquarium, uh, fish or the coral in the aquarium at sea. Well, uh, uh, I was uh, born in Tokyo, and but uh, my uh, grandmother lived in Shonan coastal area, and uh, during the summer break I went there. But uh, the beach was not was rather dirty at the time, so perhaps. Uh, that uh, woke me up about the environmental issues as a child. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Kondo. So, Dr. Morioka. Well, oh, well, I played on the beach when I was at a grade school, and I started uh, the fishing and uh, the surfing, and uh, I skipped school. And then I surf uh, the, on the net these days, but uh, I'm perhaps uh, the unusual because I loved and uh, the fun uh, of uh, the sea and uh, became a ocean professional. 
Well, I was uh, the, from uh, uh, Yokkaichi city of Mie prefecture, and uh, the sea was at uh, one uh, minute uh, the, from my grandparents' house. But uh, I didn't play a lot uh, on the beach, but uh, perhaps because of that, I uh, started enjoying sea. Well, after, as a uh, college student, and then after that, Dr. Michida. I was born in Hiroshima, and uh, uh, the sea was within uh, a walking distance. Uh, so, my ch uh, the, and uh, the, we children enjoyed uh, the uh, rising uh, the. Uh, the full tide and the uh, low tide you know, from the sea uh, that can be felt on the uh, river uh, near the sea. But only after the uh, senior year, I started uh, the working and, uh, about the sea because uh, the, before that, I studied uh, the meteorology. Depending on where you were born and uh, raised, uh, well, if you don't have any is, uh, beach where you can get in, uh, it's not that uh, uh, you are research, doing research of the ocean because of the ocean that was close to you. But uh, anyway, with something as a trigger, uh, you have been absorbed into this field and find yourself where you are now uh, for many people. So the pr person who asked this question, uh, unless you are uh, f familiar with the ocean, uh, well, your life uh, may tend to be uh, very far away from the ocean. That's not the case. Uh, somehow, uh, randomly, uh, life changes, uh, although we have just a few samples, but I think these samples tell us uh, uh, that uh, that is the case. Now, uh, Dr. Sakaguchi, why were you absorbed by the ocean? I was absorbed by the ocean I was sucked into the ocean. Uh, we had a great Kobe earthquake, and uh, uh, with the money from the education ministry, I uh, took a refuge in Australia. I, I just so happened, just so happened that I uh, lived near the uh, ocean, and I was poor. After becoming a teacher at uh, Kobe University, that was. And also, uh, I uh, sought the uh, source of uh, protein from the ocean, just like uh, Dr. Morioka. I went to the sea to, for fishing every day. And uh, twice a week, I dived. And uh, so I became a hunter-gatherer of the ocean. And so that uh, sucked into me into the ocean w uh, from about uh, uh, 35 years of age, so uh, uh, much later than you, I think. Next, uh, another question from the audience. Popularity, trend, fashion. Well, uh, this is from Sato-san of Zakko Club. There's a, a so something called a fashion, but uh, as I listen to the presentation of the panelists, what I feel is the basic research focused on the location monitoring is neglected. Some people talked about budgeting, but the research that can last for five to 10 years or the development of research is, what do you make of this issue? So this is a question from uh, this person, Mr. Sato, uh, Sato-san. So to this question, any view, please raise your hand if you have something that you would like to say. If you, no one raises his or her hand, I will designate someone. Anyone? May I? Oh, yes. Please go ahead, Dr. Kondo. I am uh, someone who teaches at an uh, education institution. Now, uh, on today's uh, presentations, we just focused on uh, well overview. But uh, uh, research at the uh, university or uh, graduation thesis, every year uh, you have to get uh, data 
In the case of Nagasaki, we have uh, uh, Riake Kai and Oura Bay. We have a unique uh, uh, sea area. And I have been uh, working in these uh, areas, but uh, 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 the data, um, enough, not enough data has been accumulated, so I have to work even harder. So uh, the question is something very important to me and also for research of uh, uh, the ocean going forward. Uh, I think uh, uh, this is a topic that we have to well, uh, work on more closely. Any other answers? Uh, Dr. Sugimoto, I think you want to answer this question, right? Well, not really. <laughs> but uh, should I say something? Yes, please. OK. Now, uh, the locality focus is uh, what uh, many people do. And uh, I couldn't go into details today, but uh, I really uh, regard uh, my local area uh, very strongly. This uh, locality focus is a trend nowadays. Uh, you can't really, uh, well, take uh, uh, your locality for granted. Uh, so monitoring of the local area, well, uh, one thing I want to say is you should develop uh, capacity in the local community uh, so that research can go on in the area. So uh, there should be a development of uh, human resources so that the local area uh, can be on its own. I think that's a uh, uh, sustainable. That's uh, what uh, we should expect. And so, uh, the so uh, well, when it's successful, uh, the universities don't have to do anymore. Thank you. Well, uh, we are nearing the time at which uh, we should close. But I'd like we'd like to show some directions, so to speak, uh, for ECOP networking. Uh, I think uh, Mr. Takakura of Inoka is uh, a unique uh, uh, presence uh, on the panel today. The decade of ocean science itself was explained, but uh, it's not the science for the science sake uh, for scientists, but uh, otherwise we cannot uh, realize the goal of uh, SDG 14. And uh, administrators, private sector, and uh, many stakeholders, sectors need to collaborate, as many, most of the panelists stressed. I think this is uh, one of the key messages from today's program. Mr. Takakura, you started your venture business I think uh, keeping your company afloat is, I think, uh, one challenge. And uh, perhaps uh, the, uh, what uh, perspective do you have about uh, how to promote exchange across sectors? Do you have any expectations or any prospect? Thank you. Across sectors, well, of course, uh, with uh, the Ministry of the Environment, or, well, I think uh, this is with the Ministry of the Environment, this is with uh, the Ministry of the Land of Transport. Well, uh, the so many ministries are involved, and uh, many issues are, are divided up. Uh, by the government agencies, uh, uh, by the responsibilities, according with the responsibilities of government uh, agencies. But uh, I wish that uh, everyone uh, will be able to work together. And uh, we are on the uh, island nation. And, uh, but uh, 
maybe a way of thinking is quite uh, similar to the continental nations like Chinese or the Americans, meaning that, that the, uh, many people are forgetting the value of uh, the ocean or the sea surrounding us. And so I think uh, the uh, public voice and the voice from the private sector should be uh, cherished more. And uh, the, we businesses, well, the, uh, the territorial, Japan's territorial sea is uh, the, uh, 20 times larger, larger than the land territory. And so for the, uh, to exploit uh, the power of the businesses, private businesses, uh, we need uh, the uh, education because uh, the children as young as 12 years old uh, can listen to us really earnestly. So we move, we need to move businesses and we promote education and uh, we generate the, uh, the public opinion and in order to move the uh, administration and the politics, government. So that's perhaps uh, how I look at them and uh, uh, should play our role. So uh, ocean education, as uh, Mr. Takakura mentioned, so uh, Dr. Taguchi, uh, not only ocean education, but only education through the ocean. At Ato Minato Lab, you uh, implement uh, the, what you developed uh, the, uh, uh, in the social environment. So exchanges uh, across uh, the sectors uh, for the purpose of uh, the younger, the personal, uh, personal resource, human resource development. So what kind of stream do you think uh, we need to have in your perspective? stream, uh, that's a very difficult topic, but uh, I think a stream can be established. Uh, we have to set the direction. But here, as was touched upon in today's discussion, uh, well, uh, we have neglected uh, well, uh, well, the point uh, whether when we say education, is it public education? Or, or, well, of course, education is important. Uh, I think everybody agrees on this, but uh, uh, is that uh, are you talking about a uh, compulsory education uh, not so or higher education it's completely different the e marine science and the e academia uh, well industry e e government uh, uh, well uh, the business uh, uh, can be generated through this collaboration but uh, education well uh, at the risk of uh, uh, getting misunderstood i think uh, we have to discuss whether we can use it. The uh, public uh, education is in a different uh, uh, field uh, from the e industry. So uh, we have to organize our thoughts. Otherwise, uh, in this uh, decade of ocean science, how should we position education? Uh, uh, so we, we should be careful about this. Uh, that is some concern I have as an education specialist. So we have to organize our thoughts about the stream. So education and uh, uh, ocean literacy, marine literacy. What is it? So about this concept, uh, we should study it further. Uh, we now have a lack of uh, uh, study. Uh, that is something I feel keenly as uh, I grapple uh, with these uh, issues. I think that is a very important uh, uh, lens. Uh, thank you. It is true. Uh, well, uh, people talk about, uh, use these words, but uh, what are they? Eh? Uh, there may be just a few people who can answer this question clearly. And uh, thinking about this uh, is uh, the views of uh, uh, the uh, young people, views of uh, the mid-career people, views of the older uh, experts, uh, well, uh, uh, should be welcomed. And lastly, PhD, uh, we should increase uh, people with PhD. Dr. Wada and uh, Dr. Kondo, I think uh, the penultimate uh, slide talk about uh, how we should uh, nurture uh, experts. And uh, also uh, Dr. Morioka, well, uh, 
you have uh, less uh, Japanese uh, coming from Japan and you feel uncomfortable. And uh, now, uh, lastly, Dr. Uh, Wada, the uh, uh, ECOPS, uh, particularly a PhD uh, researchers uh, need to be developed further. And uh, from that perspective, uh, how should uh, ECOP networking uh, go in terms of its direction? Oh, that's a uh, well difficult uh, uh, point that we need to talk about. Uh, one point I feel uh, in the discussion is the scope. Scope should be expanded. Uh, lots of words were used, but uh, I think uh, we should uh, uh, well uh, have an increased number of uh, uh, marine en enthusiasts broadly, and uh, the PhD human resources is one uh, direction that we should head. Uh, in this respect, uh, uh, the hurdles uh, to be a PhD uh, scholar is very high. Uh, one, it's uh, about capability, another, money, and also the uh, after acquiring a PhD, can you get a career? From that perspective, this ECOP is, well, uh, there are a variety of uh, careers uh, that are available, I think, uh, so that's uh, one attractiveness about ECOP. PhD, uh, well, I think uh, uh, mostly people have an uh, well image that uh, most uh, people with a PhD uh, will uh, end up uh, being in uh, academia, but not so abroad. Uh, lots of people work uh, in the industry, and also lots of people work in the academia. So uh, I think a ECOP uh, network, uh, if we can show you uh, this one, then uh, people who are gathered here I think if we have uh, uh, more uh, marine enthusiasts, uh, those people would become uh, uh, superstars. But uh, why can't you uh, increase uh, uh, superstars? Because there are uh, not many uh, fans. So we should show uh, possible careers so that we can increase the number of uh, marine enthusiasts. Uh, that's what the ECOP networking can do. Thank you. So uh, we can have a more uh, discussion. We have uh, to uh, answer many questions, but uh, uh, with my uh, well oversight as a, a moderator, that has not happened, I'm sorry. And uh, we were not able to take up all the questions uh, raised to us. I'm sorry about this as well. But uh, we uh, are going to record all the questions. So on a different occasion and others, perhaps uh, uh, we should be able to uh, answer these questions. So, uh, panelists, uh, thank you very much uh, for your discussion for uh, long hours. With this, we'd like to uh, conclude the panel discussion. We'd like to uh, turn the proceedings back to the moderator, Mr. Tanaka. Dr. Sakaguchi and uh, the panelists, thank you very much indeed uh, for your uh, valuable discussions. Now, I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Yutaka Michida, professor of uh, the University of Tokyo and uh, vice chairperson of uh, Japan Society of Open Ocean Policy for opening remark following uh, his participation in the panel discussion. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I enjoyed uh, the, the last two and a half uh, the, uh, hours, starting with the opening remark by Dr. Sakamoto and followed by the uh, introduction by uh, Dr. Morioka and the keynote address by uh, Dr. Kawano. I think uh, there are some uh, important uh, the, uh, messages, but uh, the time is quite limited, so I'd like to uh, limit myself to some of uh, these uh, points that were raised uh, today. And uh, first, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, panelists, uh, for your valuable uh, the experience and comments that shared uh, uh, with us today. I think uh, today's discussions uh, is uh, the one uh, important uh, model uh, where the uh, various uh, people from various sectors joined. I think this type of uh, the discussion should uh, continue on a regular basis. And uh, the expertise should be deepened and uh, the perspective should be expanded uh, the, uh, wider. But so it's uh, the, the permanent uh, uh, the, uh, issue for us uh, how, how to strike a balance between these two, but uh, these uh, should be kept in mind constantly. The scientists uh, 
so of course the science uh, for the science sake is important uh, but uh, the, for the United Nations uh, the decade uh, uh, the social uh, societal issues uh, they are expected to be solved so uh, this uh, perspective must not be forgotten so we have the uh, the uh, uh, sustainable development goals and in order to reach goals, uh, the uh, wider perspectives and uh, the uh, wider participation from uh, the uh, all, uh, all possible sectors should come together. So the, I'm approaching uh, the mandatory retirement age. Uh, so uh, please, uh, the uh, uh, ECOP members and the young people uh, don't hesitate uh, to be straightforward and uh, they promote uh, your research and networking. Of course, uh, the uh, expertise, of course, is important. But uh, in addition, and uh, in order to promote the United Nations decade of uh, the uh, social, uh, the uh, ocean science, we need uh, the cross-disciplinary uh, field, uh, uh, and uh, the our research should also uh, the uh, go beyond other certain conventional other frameworks and uh, fields. And the local community is another uh, important keyword. And uh, the, in the various uh, UN reports, uh, we see local and indigenous uh, knowledge. So traditionally uh, uh, developed uh, knowledge for example, uh, the fisherman's knowledge. Uh, such knowledge uh, should be absorbed and uh, taken into consideration in our science. Perhaps uh, the traditional Western uh, the, the way of developing science has been reviewed, and uh, but uh, perhaps uh, the uh, we have been uh, valuing uh, these traditional indigenous local uh, knowledge perhaps more, and uh, the, our researchers uh, they have been uh, working with uh, local fishers, uh, like uh, Dr. Kondo. So I think uh, this uh, the perspective, this, uh, this approach of ours should continue. So in, I hope that uh, the, uh, Dr. Sakaguchi, well, and I, uh, and Dr. Kawano are already in the uh, senior group of uh, the uh, um, uh, the, the members or the researchers, but uh, the, I wish that uh, you will continue to uh, the speak up and uh, the promote your research. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Michida, uh, for your very encouraging words. Before we close, we have an, an announcement. We have a uh, official YouTube channel of the Sasaka Peace of the Foundation, and today's program will also be uh, the, uh, posted. Uh, I appreciate that you register uh, your name in our channel, and our website uh, will also uh, the, uh, have the various events and uh, reports. Uh, and uh, I appreciate that, uh, your attendance and participation today. This concludes uh, today's program. Thank you very much. <laughs>